Hey, it's Anna. So this week I've been dealing with my own kind of situation. Um, I'm not going to go into details of like personal stuff, but I have been dealing with something that's kind of painful really. So I wanted to just come on here for this video and just like almost, I mean, mind cleared, you know, clear my mind as I have done a few times before. Um, I think when you're like caught up in those emotions and caught up in that process it can be really really hard to shift it and sometimes like it can be so easy to get stuck there and caught up in those emotions and like your mind starts to constantly think about the situation and constantly like it just attaches to the fear and it attaches to the questions you know like unresolved issues and yeah it can just be easy to fall into that cycle and then get stuck in negative emotions which has been happening to me yesterday today's a bit better but like i don't know i'm getting quite good at letting emotions pass through and like acknowledging which ones i'm feeling and then allowing myself to feel that so but i still wanted to film today so that's why i'm like no i'm not gonna let myself get stuck and caught into those fucking sad emotions we are gonna get on camera and film anyway and we're gonna push through but that doesn't mean that you should um like do this all the time and completely ignore them because i'm still well aware that they're there you know so that's why i thought you know what this first video i'm just gonna let it flow and be what it needs to be so yeah sometimes i just feel like sitting here and talking about what it is that i'm actually feeling rather than trying to like give advice for something that you're dealing with i feel like if you watch somebody else dealing with it themselves it can actually help even more than advice because oftentimes we don't even listen to advice i give so much advice but do i take it myself <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> it can be very hard to receive it even though you know it's good advice so anyway i'm just in one of those moods and one of those days where like it's fluctuating up and down quite a bit you know and that's life these things happen we go through experiences that we're supposed to go through and even when we don't know why and even when we wish it wasn't happening it still has to happen and it's still a part of the purpose so i'm just having to like remind myself of those things i think that's the thing that i've learned with dealing with any kind of situation even good situations i've learned like you, it's just about choosing your thoughts and deciding where you want it to go you know like telling yourself the story that you do want to hear and not ignoring the one that you don't but just being able to allow that one to like release and let it go you know not attaching to it as if it's real or as if it's true and just letting that false thing pass straight through you know because thoughts come in and out all the time but the ones that actually shift our emotions are the ones that we believe the ones that we attach to and then they spiral even worse so yeah i'm just currently processing heavy emotions but i'm feeling a bit better right now so don't worry i'm not gonna like get all crazy on camera <laughs> absolutely not we can put that shield there but yeah, so I know I just kind of want to talk about the process of healing and the process of shifting your emotions. But if you are dealing with some kind of situation, especially heartbreak, we've just done an episode on Validate Me podcast that I do with my best friend Hannah. We just released a video on healing through heartbreak, so that might help you. And then there's another video coming. I'm not sure if it will already be out by the time this video goes out. So it may have already dropped, which is about suffering and pain. And it's kind of crazy how we do those two videos, both talking about dealing with lower emotions and pain. And then I end up in a situation where I'm having to deal with lower emotions. So divine timing is always, always at place. And now I can actually watch it back and listen to my own fucking advice and try and take it, you know. So yeah, if you're dealing with anything to do with suffering and pain, then definitely go check those videos out. I'll have links to validate me down below. But... I don't know I think the process is different for everyone and it's just about doing what's best for you and sometimes I want to just sit here and talk it out you know even if I don't upload this video it's not really about the uploading it's about the expression and getting those emotions out that's why journaling is so so powerful because you get the emotions out and I often find that when you hold things in or when you don't allow yourself to feel the emotion and like 
that you literally cause blockages. I mean, that's a fact, like that's true. You block your chakras and those blockages, like you end up holding on to the pain instead of allowing happiness in, you know? So, I don't know, I feel like we block our happiness a lot without even realizing that we do it, without even intending to do it, you know? Like we can allow ourselves to get caught up in cycles and then you can fall victim to it and feel like it's happening to you and you have no control over it over it when actually you do you know it's not happening to you it's happening for you and oftentimes it's happening because of you and by you like you're the one doing it you're the one allowing your thoughts to go like that you're the one attaching to them you know so yeah if you're dealing with anything just know that it's fine like it's gonna be okay these situations have to happen they will pass and I mean, you'll be better off for it, to be honest. Otherwise, it wouldn't be happening. But you get to choose how it affects you. You get to choose the direction that you go in. Like, do you continue on suffering? Do you stay in suffering for long periods of time? Or do you pull yourself out of it? You know, like, you can take that control by doing things that your inner child needs. By loving on her or him, you know, in the way that they need. And it's not going to be the same for everyone. So... For me, some things I like to do is literally just cry it out, you know, like if I feel that coming up, I'll literally just shut myself away from the world and just cry it out if that's what I'm feeling. And then other times I may like write music because that's another form of expression. But obviously, if you don't make music, like you can literally just journal. My, if I showed you my fucking journals, like it is ridiculous. And I only started journaling last year. So I think I filled up like... Hold on, this is one of them. I have filled up this because I plan out my weeks. Now I only started doing this in this journal. My other ones that are this size um, were full of just writing, just journaling. And I think this is like my fifth one now since last year. So I don't know. Let me tell you, when you pour out your emotions, when you write that shit down, it relieves so much. It just gets it out there. And then you, when you read it back a couple of days later, you can see exactly what you were feeling. And then you can start to look at it differently because like you're not in those emotions anymore, you know? So I really think that's powerful. And just taking the time that you need, just loving on yourself, like just watching TV if you want to, like listening to music, just doing whatever feels good for you, like playing your favorite game, you know, doing whatever it is that you need, going out and meeting friends. Just making yourself feel good, like laughter. Sometimes I will put music on and I will just dance around in my room. Like, so I try to do that most mornings to be fair because I think it like really lifts your mood ready to start the day. But yeah, I think it's just about doing things that feel good for you. And that's what I'm trying to do today to shift these wonderful emotions. But anyways, I hope this helped maybe in some way, you know. I don't really know what this video was, but I don't know. I just think it's good to talk about your emotions. And the more that I put that message out there, even if it just helps one person, you know, because we are in a time where a lot of people suppress their emotions, especially men, and the state of mental health right now, like, I'm just gonna put this out. Like, it's okay to feel sad, you know? It's okay to be dealing with some kind of situation and that situation to make you feel shit. It's okay to actually acknowledge that you're feeling a bit down that day, you know? And then just take that time that you need to comfort yourself, make yourself feel better, you know? We are our own best friend. You don't need somebody else to love on you. You can love on your damn self. So, yes, thank you so much for watching me ramble. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't even get my words out, you know. But all my links to music and social media will be in the description box below. And if you are dealing with anything and you have no one to talk to, like, I am here. You can talk to me. You can leave a comment below or you can DM me and we can chat privately. Like, my Instagram or Twitter is always open. So definitely make sure you reach out to somebody. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man